Hi, in this video we'll be going over how to create a stamina system which depletes when it's used and it will automatically recover when we're not using it. So if we just hop into the third person character, find some space, we're going to create some new variables. So you click add variable and I'm just going to call this stamina and we're going to change this to a float so it could be a number and this is where we're going to consume our stamina. So I'm going to make it the left shift key and when we press this, it's going to consume our stamina. So in order for us to start sprinting, we're going to get our stamina. And if our stamina is greater than 10, it's going to allow our character to sprint. So I'm just going to put 10. And I'm going to create a branch. And when our stamina is greater than 10, we're going to make it so our character can sprint. So it will get character movement and set his walking sorry his set his walking speed max walk speed and I'm gonna set it to a thousand so our character will be much moving much faster when he is sprinting and then we're gonna create a new variable called uh, stamina on and it's gonna be a boolean and this will just start consuming our stamina bar so if we just drag this on and connect that up and then if we just uh, copy this and control C, control V, and then just plug this in. So when we release shift, it's going to set our walking speed back to the default, which is 600. And uh, we need to tick on the stamina on bar here so it just consumes our stamina. We'll reference this later. So next, what we're going to do, we're going to get event tick. As every second, we're going to be filling our stamina bar when our character is not running. So we're going to create a branch. And the condition is stamina on. And when our stamina is on, it's going to start to consume our character stamina. So if we get our stamina, and if we uh, minus float, and I'm going to minus it by 0.7. I find this is a nice value. I'm going to experiment with this around later, and we're going to clamp it as we, as I want my stamina bar to only go from zero to 100. So its max value will be 100. So I'm just going to clamp it there and then if we drag this on and set the stamina and just plug this in. So when our stamina is on, it's just going to consume our stamina bar. Um, we're just going to control C all of this and control V. So when we're not running and sprinting, it's going to start to restock our stamina. If we just plug that in and where the minus is, we're just going to delete this and add float. And I'm just going to make this 0.1, sorry, 0.4, so it consumes, so it adds a bit slower than we can consume it. And if we just compile this, so it all saves. So next, I'm going to drag a sequence. So when we're running, in case in case we run out of stamina when we're running, we want our character to go back to his default speed. So this is just what this sequence is for. If we drag this on and have a branch, so while we're running, if our stamina ever gets less than 10, we're going to make it so our character just returns back to his normal walking, his default running speed state. So if we find the character movement and just set the max walk speed, and we'll just set it to 600. now we've got our stamina bar. so we're just going to make it so that we can see this visually so if we go to user interface and create a widget blueprint and just going to call it stamina ui what we want to drag is a progress bar and just make it a big size and anchor it and we're going to bind this to our stamina in our third person character so if we click the bind key and then we're going to cast to our third person character. And as the object, we're going to get the player character. Get the player character. And as the third person character, we're going to reference the stamina. So we get the stamina. And then we're going to need to divide this by 100 as um, the progress bar only goes from 0 to 1. So we divide it by 100. 
and we just compile and uh, I, mean, I need to set this down right so zero is fine if we just click play uh, I forgot to attach the HUD so we can see it so if we go to event begin play so we can just see the HUD and create widget and we just select the stamina UI and then if we add this to the viewport we should be able to see our stamina just increase so you can see our stamina bar increase and when we hold shift we run faster and it depletes and then when we're out it goes back to our normal speed so you can play around with the values so you can adjust the stamina bar uh, but that's all thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye